you play in the music of Jan Johansson. Who was Jan Johansson? Swedish pianist, legendary, groundbreaking when it came to including folk music in, in jazz music, of course. Jan Johansson started out pretty late as a professional pianist. He was supposed he studied at the Technical University in Gothenburg. And, uh, and he was supposed to become maybe an engineer or something. But, there was a big but, he was too talented in piano. <coughs> so he, he, he played, of course, all the time, you know, beside his school work in different groups and recorded with uh, groups from Gothenburg. Eventually, he uh, became a full-time jazz pianist and uh, for a while even he moved to Copenhagen to play with Stan Getz and Oscar Pettiford at the famous Jazz Hus Montmartre. And it was a long, a long engagement with them and uh, Jan said this is the time I learned how to swing. And he was a composer as well, not just a piano player? He composed but What he's, he's most famous for is, of course, his uh, renditions, his arrangements of Swedish folk music. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the time, it was um, also a lot of jazz musicians and jazz critics who, who were thinking this was a bad idea. Bad idea? Yeah, because uh, this was not real jazz. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, uh, these songs are, are in, a, in a way very simple and uh, it's from another tradition mm -hmm. and uh, I guess they wanted to keep jazz more pure like it came from America How is your connection to Swedish folk music? <coughs> you recorded a, a beautiful CD. Yeah, well, I guess when when I discovered jazz, I was 15 years old. I had pi played piano since I was five. And uh, at 15, I had a teacher who, I got a new teacher and he loved jazz music, music which he introduced to me. And uh, I started to listening to pianists like Oscar Peterson, Bill Evans, Bud Powell, Errol Garner, etc., etc. At the time, in my first years, I was not interested in folk music at all. I thought I was, I didn't like that because I thought that was too simple music, you know, as a young guy. So it took. Uh, <laughs> I had to be a little bit more mature to appreciate it. But then, of course, it came as a hard hit against yeah. me. Yeah, I fell in love with, with it very much. I But mean, especially the way uh, Jan Johansson treated the folk music. He was not alone in Sweden. There was a lot of other jazz, jazz musicians. Jan Johansson is very, very special. He, he, had the, he was the one who had the big commercial success. Because this music, everybody in Sweden, above a certain age at least, I would say, knows this music. But didn't your mother sing your folk songs for before you go to sleep? <laughs> <coughs> maybe. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> We sang folk music and Swedish songs in, in the school, mm -hmm. of course, you know, and, and the, the music was around you. Mm -hmm. was just that I didn't <laughs> like it <laughs> so much. Mm -hmm. I didn't really dislike it, but in my mind I want to become a, a, a jazz pianist like... I didn't want to sound like I came from Sweden, I wanted to sound like I came from New York 
or even better from Harlem. But uh, the first time I was in, in in the States, I was touring 1995 <coughs> with an American saxophonist called Bill Perkins. And uh, this was with great jazz musicians from the States. And after three weeks, I never felt as Swedish. Mm -hmm. I felt so Swedish. Mm -hmm. And I wonder why. So when I came, came home, I started to, you know, to do the inner search. And maybe try to realize that we have a, an, a heritage. All people have an heritage, yeah. and we should take care of that yeah. somehow and uh, develop it. But sometimes you yourself. have to go across the bridge. Sometimes you have, exactly. To understand your side of the water. Tonight you're going to play with a string quartet, um, and is it new for you to play with a string quartet? Not totally new, but uh, it was uh, definitely, definitely the first time on recording, actually. And uh, I worked, I did an album, a tribute to Duke Ellington album, yeah. with strings, but um, string quartet is more. It's tighter, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. Because I had this idea, a vision to make a tribute to Jan Johansson for many years. But uh, I didn't know how to do it. Because I wanted to keep his special way of uh, harm the harmonies. I didn't want to change the, or destroy the music, we can say. But I wanted to renew it, so of course I had to play like I play, but I didn't want to have... I, I wanted m something more to sound new, and the string quartet came to me one day. 